Welcome. Today we're going to review how to process data in Snowflake through an ML model hosted by Modsy and return the analysis for further use. In this example, we will process a public Amazon review data set with a sentiment analysis model hosted on app.modsy.com. You can sign up for a free account there if you'd like to follow along with this walkthrough. Again, that's app.modsy.com. We're also connecting to Snowflake to load the data, so you'll need an account with them. All the code referenced here is available on docs.modsy.com under Integrations, Data Sources, and Snowflake, where you can find uh, a nice step-by-step copy-and-pastable version of this walkthrough. So let's jump right over to Snowflake. I've created a Modsy database with an Amazon schema, and I've created the reviews table populated with all the data from that Amazon uh, data set. I've also created a classified table uh, to hold all our output data when we're done processing, but you can see at the moment there's no data available in that column. From here we load up a Jupyter Notebook. First we just load some passwords and then we import the Snowflake uh, connector file which is just a helper function to connect to Snowflake databases. Uh, you can get this with pip install Snowflake. We're also loading pandas to manipulate our data in a data frame. Then we connect to the actual database that we just showed you. That's the Modsy database in the Amazon schema. And then we load in some data from that database. In this case, just the first 100 rows to keep things small. We can see this is the same data that we were just looking at. Next, we import and connect to Modsy. This is just a pip install modsy sdk if you don't already have it installed. And then we're connecting to that app.modsy.com mentioned earlier. In the next step, we take our source data and we reformat it into a, a format and an object that the model can manipulate. If you're curious how exactly we know this, we jump over to Modsy. We can search for that sentiment analysis model. And we see that Modsy has a variety of examples. And in this case, that Python, we can simply copy and paste this to know how to use our model. We've also helpfully created a link here, which will take us straight to our job in progress. We have 47 items completed, 53 pending. Uh, we can also click through any particular one of these reviews and get the results and the classification as positive or negative. And we can refresh this to monitor progress, 88 out of 100, so we're nearly done. We can also jump back to the code and using the block until complete function, simply have the code wait for those results to be available, which they are now. And we can see that this is very, very similar to what we were just looking at uh, with every single review that was transmitted classified in the same format. So we step through those classifications and update that data table with the new neutral, negative, and positive columns of all the classifications that the model produced. Finally, we just write that data back to that classified reviews table that we generated for the output. And when Snowflake comes back with a, an appropriate response, we just make sure that that is correct. And as further proof, we jump back over here, refresh that data table, and see that yes, the table has been updated with all of the data, including the three new columns from the classifier. Uh, so just to recap, we loaded data from a Snowflake database. We processed that data through a natural language processing model hosted on app.modsy.com, and we saved that resulting analysis back to Snowflake for further use. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our support system or by joining us on our Discord server, and I hope this walkthrough was helpful.